And someone who's been watching the mm. thermometer and the humidity, Ryan Snodden with us now. It's going to feel pretty hot and sticky, huh? Yeah, not just for the daytime, but the overnight lows, importantly, are going to be very, very uncomfortable for sleeping. Uh, for those without air conditioning, especially uh, heat warnings, as Brett mentioned, in effect across the entire region now and most of eastern Canada. Now, as we look at the temperatures out there, starting to creep up into the high 20s already through the valley into the Kedji region, Anaganesh up to 27, but this really is just the appetizer with the full meal deal coming. And we're starting to look at those dew points, again, creeping up into the high teens. That is getting into that humid to oppressive range. Expecting widespread 18, 19, 20, 21 dew points by this time tomorrow. And yeah, those Humidex values are creeping up mid 30s. But by this time tomorrow, we're talking about high 30s and low 40s. And that's going to be the case for the next two days. Look at these temperatures. Widespread 28 to 34. Some relief along the Atlantic coastline and uh, right along coastlines, even along the North Shore, if your feet are in the water, be a light sea breeze helping you out, but this is gonna be very, very hot. Humidex values 36 to 42 will be kind of the widespread range over the next two days. Now, the good news is this heat and humidity has an expiry date. Check out the muggy meter here. And again, those dew points, this is how we really, it's a, such a great measurement of how it feels. And so we go from the mighty muggy to truly tropical range, and it really will feel tropical as we especially move into Thursday those dew points are gonna fall off a cliff as a frontal boundary moves through the region and really crashes us back down uh, to, yes, summer sweet. Uh, as summer arrives uh, late Thursday and yes, our first full day of summer on Friday. And we're gonna stay uh, quite pleasant for Saturday, creeping up a little bit for Sunday uh, with some showers that are gonna be moving back into the region, but uh, there is some relief in sight. We'll walk you through that with your complete seven day forecast coming up. Tom and Amy in just a few minutes. Information all right. you'll all wanna know for sure. Okay, Ryan, thanks so much. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you.